Well, hello. So I was just talking to you about something else, and now I'm going to talk to you about, about sunrises and sunsets and cloudy days. And why is it that when I wake up on a cloudy day and I look outside, it's like, hmm, what is it? Like, is it something that I have taught myself, a way that I have trained myself to be? That when it's cloudy, I automatically think it's a, a not a good day. I was talking to two people today, and it was, a, it was an interesting their, their way of thinking at it. One of them was, I love cloudy days because I'm not under pressure. The pressure is off. And I think that perhaps I need some pressure. Oh, the school bus is empty. Backing up into that driveway, that was kind of an odd thing to do. I guess he'd come to the end of the road, the route. All right, so what are we talking about? The pressure. So when the sun is out, I do feel pressure to go outside and be in the sun to sit in the sun, to walk in the sun, to work in the sun, to watch the sunrise, to watch the sunset, perhaps get photos, be at good places where I can do those things. And so first, if my back, if my body doesn't feel like being outside doing all these sun, sun inspired things, like on a sunny day, I don't like to be like in the workshop or, um, the workbench. I, I don't like to be, I feel like I should be doing something to appreciate the sun and if I'm working out there, I feel like I'm really not taking full advantage of the sun. Isn't that a weird way to think? Like, what's with me in the sun? And when it's a cloudy day, one of my friends said, well, when it's cloudy, that's your time to write in your journal and read and draw. I thought, I'd love to do that. I would love to sit and read some of the books I've got on my shelves. of looking at it. Another is that the pressure is off and I have a completely free day. I can do whatever I want. But I think that I think that my body getting um, less obedient, my body getting more taking on a life of its own, a lazy life, um, I think that I don't, even when it's sunny, my, my biggest thing to do when it's sunny is just to go sit on the porch and soak up the sun, which was also what I like to do in Georgia at my mother's house, was to sit wherever the sun was and soak it up, which is what I did when I was a child. And I laid out in the sun and I baked and I would listen to the radio, which would say, it's turnover time every half an hour. How many times have I told you that? 60? 72? I have a few really good stories that I recycle, of course, you know. So that's why it's so important that I, I flesh out my journal and that I read them all. If I read all the things in my journal, that's really good for me. But you know what? I didn't answer comments for like 10 years or something. I got busy or I was distracted or I didn't notice or I didn't know where to find them. I think that's where it was. I didn't know how to get the comments and the formats have all changed a few times. And so I didn't read comments. I made, made videos and uploaded them. Well, lately, you know, the past six months or a year, probably a year now, I've been reading the comments. I mean, going back through. So I've got latest un, uh, unanswered comment. And so I I do the ones that I get today and yesterday. I've, I've, I 
I'm already caught up to today. But so the next comment after the, well, now that I've used all those up, the next comment is like from eight years ago. And they're all from eight years ago. And so one will be talking about my loom and another one will be talking about bobbin lace. And another one will talk about the perennials in the garden and um, about my mother and spending time with my mother in Georgia or the trip to Georgia. There's just, it, oh, and renovating, renovating the house. There was a lot of renovating that went on for a few years there. It wasn't all happening quickly. It was, you know, time, time is so everything doesn't happen at once. Anyway, um, so in, in, making, in reading the comments, I'm actually going back through stories of my life and parts of my life and seeing, remembering different things that have happened in my life. You know, like it's easy to forget and just focus on a few really main events. Like uh, when I was five, I rolled down the hill. When I was in second grade on the blackboard, there was a John Glenn had flown around the earth. First orbit around the earth ever was 19, and that was, I was in second grade, so it was 1962. My next memory was 1963 in Georgia. We had just bought the house and I was behind the car of my next door neighbor. And he had a, a, a Corvette or something and I, I had no idea Corvettes were anything to get excited about. And he was, he was pol uh, washing it or something. Oh, they had a blue car, a light baby blue car and it had fins, you know, like instead of the back side of the car being like that, it was like that and then this was beside it, right? So he had these fins that stuck up and down. And I, I remember that. It was a Corvette, Cor no, Chevrolet, it was a something, whatever it was. Anyway, but I have certain stories. I remember running across the yard to Becky's house. I remember being at the river with Becky. I remember being by the stream doing, playing with crawfish with Becky. Um, I remember some girls came and slept over one night. I remember climbing out on the roof. Um, I remember painting the wall in my bedroom. With, it was dark green, and I made them into a, a, like a, a chalk, like a a chessboard. What is the word for that? Checkered. Is that right? That's what checkered is. Yes. So it was a green checkered wall. It had green and yellow, lighter. Weren't so bad. Let me look at this. really beautiful, isn't it? Let me just check that out. My chairs are almost buried. Look at that. Look at how much flooding it is. Wonderful property. Look at how beautiful that stream is. It's so full. I've seen otters in here before, and of course, beavers and flooded it is out in the back, out in the backyard and around the side. And I bet it's wet on the inside of the TV too. Isn't that a cozy looking place? Can you believe it? Oh, just look at that. What a wonderful home. Hey, I used to have a whole section that would come forward, sort of 
that would hit, hid most of the kitchen. And this one here doesn't have a lot of, I guess the willow are not bent anymore. Look at the backyard. My campfire spot back there. I put my Christmas tree here. Let's go forward a little further. I walked in there once. But I didn't go all the way in because my back hurt and I didn't want to scratch down. I should do something with that flag up there. I need to climb my ladder. Luckily the ladder's still up there. It's so easy to get up and fix the flag. But the flag appears to be ripped. It's in two pieces now. Doesn't that look soft? And see how he did the straw at the very top of the... How I did the straw at the top of the teepee? Oh, and look at over here. Uh, yeah, I put the straw straight through and then bent it in half across the top of the teepee. And look at here, look at my people. And look at Mary, she's got fleece to wrap up baby Jesus. I could make small sheep and put in there, you know? I could stuff fleece in between them so it looks like there's sheep hanging around. Hmm. Well, that chair there, that that's pretty mangled the way the the arch is now. Look at this arch. This whole thing just caved right in. But I could probably fix it if I got in there. But I'd have to really have a good back that day. Or I could tie something on where... See that big pile of snow that's on the, that's on the, the, this is called my foyer, it was a room, which has now been flattened on the inside. Let's move ahead a little bit. And so it now looks like a wall here instead of an archway. I tried to lift it up the other day. Look at that, somebody threw a can out there. I tried to lift it up the other day. Just this part right here, but it didn't work. But if I could get it from the middle of that flattened side and pull it out, I'd probably have to just get in there and move all those chunks of ice. You can see a lot of water I'm going to see a lot of water back in the woods there, too. That's not the stream, is it? The stream is farther back than that. Maybe we have extra streams here at the moment. You can see it's all pooled there. This, the water is flooding all around the teepee. It's probably wet, like on the inside. Okay, I guess that's all. That was fun, wasn't it? Okay, I love my teepee. I love that whole area down there. My little playground. Oh, there's people coming. I guess I need to just sit here for a minute and wait. Okay, well, it was nice talking to you. Bye-bye.